Welcome back. Right now we are continuing to cover our Rockdale County neighbors where chemicals are still weighing heavy in the air after the BioLab fire on Sunday. You are taking a live look outside at that plume in Conyers. You can still see it in the distance, and mm -hmm. that's what we've been seeing now for days. Tonight, Rockdale County officials say they are getting a lot of questions about the air and water quality in that community following that fire. And Jennifer, we have been following this ongoing emergency since it all started on Sunday, working to get answers to the many questions that you have. 11 Alive anchor Ron Jones joining us live from Rockdale County tonight with more on what we're learning at this hour. Ron. Yeah, that's right. So if you look over my shoulder, you can see why a lot of folks here in Rockdale County and beyond are concerned as the smoke continue to rise from the ashes here. So less than 30 minutes ago, folks, Rockdale County officials announcing the shelter in place. This is new shelter in place is now in effect from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. beginning tonight until Friday is going to continue to Friday. So county health officials say that being outdoors during the day is particularly safe for most of the folks out there. But after the sun goes down, they want you to stay inside. Atlanta Fire Rescue Crew said that they have been conducting daily air quality tests and the results show that there's no threats to safety. Rockdale County Water Resources say that they are doing quality checks uh, of the water samples at least three times a day. And they say so far the water levels are safe. So one of the lawsuits filed today against BioLab, there was a specific mention of mishandling of a form of chlorine called TCCA. So we spoke to Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech Associate Professor of Chemistry, Dr. Joseph Sadiji, about critical steps in handling that material properly. Listen in. Dichloroisocyanuric acid, and that is a mouthful, but that is one of the solid chlorine precursors that are sold as pool chlorine tablets. And I looked up the safety data sheet, which is something they keep for any chemical that's commercially available. And that safety data sheet states, never allow a small amount of water to go into a large amount of material. Always add this product to a large amount of water. All right, you know, both the doctor and Dr. Sadiji and officials earlier from the Gwinnett, Rockdale and Newton County Department of Public Health, they want to stress that if you are near this facility right here over my shoulder and your eyes begin to water excessively or or you start to feel lightheaded, you need to move to a safe area immediately. And of course, Jennifer, we're going to stay on top of this story and we're going to have more on lawsuits uh, that have been filed. That's coming up tonight on 11 Alive News at 6. All right, Ron, thank you. And despite new updates from the county, Rockdale residents say they are still nervous, anxious out there and afraid of the plume of smoke that now sits over Conyers. Residents like Lauren Daniels say they are still taking precautions. It's very scary. I have walked to my friend's house and that air is just dangerous for to breathe in, just to walk, just to do anything. I advise everyone to stay indoors and take care of yourself. So once again, if you think you are experiencing any symptoms related to the chemical fire, the Georgia Poison Control has created a hotline for you to call. You can see the number right here on your screen. We also have it available for you on our website, 11alive.com and inside our 11 Alive news app. That way you can share it with your family and friends, anybody else who may need it. And we know there are so many moving parts to this story impacting so many of you, also impacting businesses and school closures. If you have any specific questions, you can text the word plume to 404-885-7600. We'll send you a link with all the important information directly to your phone.